Widow of Steve Jobs is involved in a big land purchase in East Palo Alto. As for what she plans to do with the land, KPX 5 Stephen Feely says that's a mystery. Viewed from Sky Zone 5, the newly purchased parcel runs from the edges of East Palo Alto to the foot of the Dunbarton Bridge. And along with this warehouse and the empty lot next door, Sycamore Real Estate Investment LLC, a company associated with Apple founder Steve Jobs' widow Lorene, has bought up a large swath of the city. They are among the largest private landowners in the city uh, through these acquisitions. But the big question is what do they plan to do with the 45 acres they now own in an area that's part industrial, part undeveloped, and wholly in need of a facelift? A new vision for this industrial area that really focuses on community benefits and employment and revenue generation for the city and improvements to the quality of life for the existing residents. A spokesperson for the project and Powell Jobs emailed us late this afternoon saying, at this point we are too early in the process with the community and city to comment. East Palo Alto is in the midst of a transformation. The real estate market is red hot with median home prices topping a million dollars and businesses are eyeing investment opportunities as well. It's a little bit, will, would the last working class person turn off the light before they move to Stockton or Fresno? Paul Bundy rents space in the warehouse that's at the heart of the redevelopment site. He hopes that whatever comes next will take into account the people who were here before. It would be nice to see low-cost housing uh, addressing the needs of a broad sector of the community. The city says that no official proposal has been submitted that spells out exactly what the owners plan to do with this land, but they expect those conversations to begin informally at least later this year or early next year. In East Palo Alto, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.